Hi, in this video we are going to look at how to use select and insert um, how to do is select and insert um, using PHP and select and insert obviously are um, SQL statements and they are go we are going to use that to deal with the MySQL database this is a list of suggestions how you should use this video the examples for this video can be found on this URL this website and it's already loaded here so if you go to that website you just scroll all the way down to example 008 and we are going to do select and insert here um, so make sure that your PHP your XM is running if they are running you should be able to go to the MySQL I mean page if you have logged out last round you should see the login screen if you have not logged out I can show you how to log out you can just go in again um, this is a super user Harry and the password is elbow monkey so if you have logged out okay last time and you see this again you should be able to log in again okay if you did not log out you can just go in straight without any um, password all right we have created we have a Kung Fu Panda shop database created there we have a products table and the content of the products table is kind of interesting okay so let's say I want to select everything from this database and um, in my CTEM my PHP example I already have the database connection files and uh, um, CSS file so I'm going to copy the select statement okay right click save link as copy into my CTEM my PHP example 008 so it appears here but I have to change it to PHP extension and um, you should be able to open it in Notepad++ take a quick look so what this guy does is he make use of the connect, data, connect database file that we have already created okay and it will run the SQL statements so the database connection is established in the connect database file so we use the DSN which is the variable name object name oh, sorry which sorry we use the DB which is the um, variable name or object name to, um, in the select to run the query okay so let's and then you can always run a um, for each statement to see what it looks like first I comment it out you don't need that and then this is the actual code okay to actually do the work so let's look at what it looks like let's see what it looks like alrighty um, so you we all know that this is the URL so I'm just going to open a new tab and run and you should be able to go to example 008 and click on the select you will see the data from the database that has the category ID of 1 will be pulled so data from the database that have a category ID of 1 which is the first six rows will be retrieved okay so this is the select statement that works fine the next thing we want to do is okay we can leave the select statement here okay select um, leave the select file here select the PHP file and we want to insert something alright and to do that we need to use the insert okay so I save this file as a text file and then I'm going to rename it a PHP file 
and if I if I look at a file, what it says is I'm going to insert something with a category ID of one into the table, and this is a SQL statement, and is going to be called the code is log Shane, and the name is log Shane figure eleven eleven figure eleven inches, and the price is fifteen point five. Let's see what if, well let's see what it does. Okay. And you should show me, say it's successful. So let's see that. So I'm going to go to my um, URL again. Go to example 008. Try to do a insert. So it works. One row, one row insert, and be because the I believe the um, product code is unique, so you can only do this once. Okay, I code it in that. You can only insert once because the code is unique in the um, database. So database will restrict the success of this statement. So let's look at um, what it looks like here. So if you do a browse again, you will realize there's a new row being created with the product ID 12 and it's log chain and log chain figure 11 inches 15.5 dollars and the select statement if you reload it you should be able to see that as well so that's log chain okay and um, so with that we covered the um, how to set up the insert and select statements uh, Please realize that this video is not to teach you how to program. It's just basically show you how um, PHP can work with the database, how to set up the environment and all that. If you want to learn how to program, you have to read the textbook and this video does not do that. Okay? It's just to show you how to set up the environment. Thanks for watching. That's, um, that's the end of this video.